that's skincare with Ashley where I help you perfect your skincare needs if you're new to this channel welcome it's nice to have you today it's just going to be a short review on this Eucerin sun protection sun fluid with SPF 30 so if you're interested in knowing what I think stick around if you do like this video I'd really appreciate a thumbs up it'll really help my channel but let's just get straight into it so like I said SPF 30 it is broad spectrum which means it's going to protect you from both UVA and UVB rays so that's absolutely fantastic it's got a mattifying feel so it's great for people who've got oily skin and it's also got sodium alarinate as well which is humectant so it's going to help moisturize your skin and draw moisture into your skin so so far it sounds great it's fragrance free so you know that's great if you've got sensitivity issues to fragrance and it does say on the packaging that it's suitable for sensitive skin. Now, um, me, myself, I don't really think I have much of sensitive skin. My eyes may be a little bit different, I don't know. I've tried quite a few sunscreens recently and some of them have hurt my eyes. And this is definitely one that's done so as well. I think maybe that might be a little bit to do with the actual application because it is a fluid but i will just show you what it looks like and then i'll just tell you my proper thoughts of you know what i think of the product so when you take it out of the box it does come in this packaging and you do have to shake it before you use it and i'm not much of a fan of this that it comes it kind of like just pours out and because it's a liquid it's i don't know it's i think it's a little bit messy to be honest in the way that it comes out so as you can see it's just a thin fluid it doesn't leave any white mark once you've rubbed it in quite a bit but one thing with this although it does say that it's mattifying i find that when you first put it on it does have like a shiny oily kind of texture that doesn't take long at all so within a few minutes it will you know completely go down and it will become like a mattifying texture on your skin the thing with this though is when it goes matte it's not the sort of matte feel that i like i like a matte but moisturized feel but this is kind of like a little bit of like a powdery feel i don't know it, i just don't really find it comfortable on my skin I definitely think that everybody's going to need to use a moisturiser underneath because this isn't going to be moisturising at all, which a lot of sunscreens actually are moisturising, but I think just with the way it's a liquid and the way it just dries down, I don't know. It's got denatured alcohol in, which I don't find problematic really because a lot of sunscreens have denatured alcohol and it's just going to help the consistency be a little bit thinner. It's also going to help with the mattifying effect in this sunscreen. So I'm not mad at that. I don't know. I just don't think it's that great a feel. Although in saying that, I definitely think that if you used it and then let's say you used a moisturiser underneath and then you used it and then you went straight on top with makeup once it's like dried down to that matty feel. I think it does go on nicely. So today around my eyes um, and just underneath. I used another sunscreen because I don't really like this that much so I prefer to just use it as a little bit of a topper um, then I went in with this on top and then just straight with my makeup and it did go really nicely I don't know it just feels a little bit feels a little bit odd to me to be honest so overall I don't know I wouldn't really recommend this I think if you've got oily skin and you want something mattifying you can get something a little bit more moisturising. I think if you wanted to use a moisturiser and you wanted to go with a sunscreen, this could possibly be a reasonable option. But um, I don't know if other people are going to find that they've got problems with it around their eyes, but it definitely did sting my eyes. And it's not something that happened with all the sunscreens I've used. Definitely not mad about this at all. That's basically everything I did want to talk about. Like I said, it was going to be a short review. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see further content, subscribe if you're not already. And in the meantime, my lovelies, keep looking after your skin.